Hello, uh, my name is David Punzel. I will be talking about the Naga peoples of Northeast India, Northeastern India. The first article, Hutton, J. Hutton, 1965, The Mixed Culture of the Naga Tribes. J. H. Hutton was one of the earliest connections with the Naga people, and his article, Hutton, seeks to highlight the unique variation and stark differences between broadly classified people groups. The hill people of Northeast India are generally references referenced as the Naga tribes, and are mu multiple distinct villages, re republics, making up this demographic, each with its distinct cultures and customs. Examples of the varying customs and kinship in marriage, page 20 of this article describes the marriage customs observed at the time, while generically speaking, we can say that they are patrilineal. Some villages practice monogamous marriages, while others another village might practice polygamy. Uh, the quantity of the wives also vary within the polygamous customs and some tribes allowing three wives and others allowing up to seven. Still, another practice is loose form of palandry with the monogamous situation in which brothers might have access to the wife when the husband allows. Much like the polyandrous arrangements in Tibet we read about in our text, uh, Conformity and Conflict. The article Palandry, When Brothers Take Wives, page 164, describes a variety of marriage types practiced in the Tibetan society, including fraternal polygyny. polygyny. Article 2, uh, Vipa Joshi, 2007, The Birth of the Christian Enthusiasm Among the Anagami of the Nagaland South Asia J Journal of the South Asian Studies. This article explains the, and compares the diverse sects of Christianity thriving in the Nagaland region and seeks to explain the fluidity of, in which the Naga tribe people express their faith. Naga tribes have been forming and fighting <clears throat> for their own identity. 90% of the Naga population identifies as Christian. Although the associate, associated subdenominations, Baptist, Catholic, Pentecostal, may change periodically, another shared trait of the tribes. The Naga resisted the new religion when it was first introduced in the early 1900s, but over time assimilated the principles principles and to its culture, bringing peace between tribes and gradually end to ritual killings. After World War II, the tribes fully embraced the Christian faith as a distinction from the surrounding nations. Page 548 and 549, through interaction with outsiders, the Naga gained a new window on the world, including Christianity as a global religion uh, different from Hinduism and Islam, of which they were previously aware. As a result, was a heightened consciousness of their distinctiveness as a people. I contrast this to the article in our textbook, Becoming a Muslim in Europe, page 192, in which Maria distances herself from the idea of her nationality is tied to her religion. Maria embraces her national identity separate from her religion, whereas the Naga are intentionally connecting their religion to desired nationality identity. Article number three, Naga Land, a contemporary ethnography, is a compilation of 11 modern ethnographies plus classical examples relating to the various aspects of Nagaland tribes. Featuring multiple anthropological perspectives, it gives an updated perspective on a renewed group of people. Addressing the need for the updated information, Shauna says that today we have <coughs> a new Nagaland way of life. Ideas and values have changed. Not only have the Nagas changed, the others have also changed in their relationship to them. Page 5, contributors are personally familiar with the Naga life, and authors have taken care to integrate the traditions ethnographic, ethnographic method of fieldwork and detailed observation with current theories from their insider's perspective. The primitive isolate of the classical anthropologist <coughs> anthropologist <coughs> excuse me no longer exists in this article ethnography of and culture page 6 james 
uh, Spradley emphasizes the importance of ethnographers' perspective, saying, To get a culture, ethnographers must learn the meaning of action and experience from the insider's point of view. He uses George Hicks as an example as he places himself among the community of the mountain people in the Appalachian Valley to better understand from their perspective. So, Article 4, Religion of the Tonkul, Naga in Northeast India, Continuity and Change, describes the evolution of the Naga tribes in animism, poly polytheism, and monotheism, sh and shows what aspects of the religious beliefs and practices have continued and what has changed. Naga formerly practiced animism while believing in one main detached spirit from his demons were very involved in human affairs. These demons existed in everything, crops, trees, rivers, rocks, and appeasing the demon was important to their health and well-being in the village in a variety of ways. Page 3, creating many taboos. <clears throat> The practice of the head collecting arose from this belief in capturing the spirit and making oneself, one's village stronger, among other things. Much like fetishes spoken in of in the Baseball Magic article, page 271. This belief is very real spiritual threat from the outside force is run parallel to the evil eye in the article Najor or Buit. Evil eye or ghost affliction. Page 65 outlines specific remedies for testing uh, for the presence of Najar, as well as methods of removing the evil presence, usually involving unbearable smell. Article 5, Naga's role in the World War II, describes the Naga people's loyalty to the British in a fight against the Japanese, specifically in the fight of Kohima. The Naga were rewarded with cash and medals for their courage and loyalty. An unexpected result of this fight was cultural awareness and the desire for their own national identity, separate from India or Burma. The Hmong also helped the Americans fight and win in the war. They were promised many things, <clears throat> and unfortunately many expectations were lost in translation. While they attempt to keep their identity, the Hmong have not blended so well in American society. Both Naga and Hmong come from the Agarian <clears throat> come from the excuse me Agarian and secluded societies and exposed and immersed into industrial worlds and both struggled to keep their distinctions. Naga tribes remained in their land and now fight for their own identity as the Naga people. Thank you.